deduction of Lagrange equation from the Lambert principle. In fact, knowledge of three important theorems are required. These theorems are in fact uh, the first theorem which uh, already we have studied that is the theorem of cancellation of dots. The second one is theorem of interchangeability of total time derivative with partial coordinate derivative which uh, I, we will read today and the third one is in fact the theorem of quadratic nature of kinetic energy. The concern of today's lecture is in fact the second theorem that is theorem of interchangeability of total time derivative with partial coordinate derivative. So first of all we will state the theorem and then we will prove it. So I am just writing first of all its a statement for your convenience that is the theorem of interchangeability of total time derivative with partial coordinate derivative. So what is what this theorem states? A statement. In fact, this theorem states that for a holonomic system, for a holonomic system, d dt. del r by del qk d dt del r by del qk this equal to del del qk dr by dt dr by dt. It means what this uh, mathematical expression tells us. See here in LHS there is a total time derivative or ordinary derivative of del r by del qk with respect to t and in RHS just the operator del del qk has been replaced by d dt. The op there is just an interchange of the operator d dt and del del qk. So in a, a simple way we can say that this theorem states that the interchange of d dt and del del qk is permitted. But uh, I am just writing the a statement what this mathematical expression says. It means this says that you can say that is the total time derivative total time derivative d dt and partial and partial coordinate derivative partial coordinate 
derivative del del q k del del q k of position vector position vector of any particle any particle r inter changeable inter changeable and so you may say so also delta and d dt delta and d dt are interchangeable interchangeable this is in fact a statement of this theorem so see what the statement says for any holonomic system you know the holonomic system means the system in which position of the particles are completely restricted in such a system the operator d dt and del del q k may be interchanged if these operators are operated on position vector r and in the light of this statement we can say that this operator delta may be interchanged by d dt now we will in fact prove this theorem you will see that the proof of this theorem is very easy all the steps used in its proof are already known to you in previous lectures we have already used such mathematical steps so it is not very hard to prove this theorem or to understand this the proof of this theorem so let us prove this theorem now proof as you know the transformation equation for a holonomic system for any holonomic system we know the transformation equation for any holonomic system you know position vector r is expressed as a function of generalized coordinates and possibly time this is in fact function of q1 q2 so on qf and or in compact form you may write it as r equal to r of q k t say this is equation 1 you know here the subscript k 
means what this stands for 1 2 3 and so on up to f and what is this f you know very well this is in fact degrees of freedom of our system f is degrees degrees of freedom of our system degrees of freedom now let us see when we will differentiate this position vector r partially with respect to qk in fact del r by del qk if we will find the partial derivative of r with respect to position coordinates or generalized coordinate qk in fact this de derivative will contain it contains contains different q's different value of q that is q1 q2 and so on this will contain q's and t and t so we can say that del r by del qk is in fact function of different q's and t so we may write del r by del qk this will be in fact a function of what different values of q so it is written a q's it means different value of q and t or you may say this will be in fact a function of q1 q2 so on qf and t when r is partially differentiated with respect to qk the result contains in fact different values of q and t so we can say that this del r by del qk is a function of different values of q and t or uh, in uh, expanded form we can write that this is in fact a function of q1 q2 so on qf and t now we will in fact evaluate the term in LHS of the statement of our theorem that is d dt del r by del qk we will evaluate it hence let us evaluate d dt del r by del qk we are going to evaluate this term so see here in fact equation 2 says that del r by del qk is what in fact this is f of q1 q2 qf and t so you may write it this is d f of q1 q2 so on qf t and dt i have just replaced del r by del qk by the function f of q1 
क्यू वन क्यू टू सो ऑन क्यू एफ एंड टी यू सी हियर दैट द फंक्शन एफ इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ इनफैक्ट एफ प्लस वन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स दिस इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ एफ प्लस वन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स एफ इज द नंबर ऑफ क्यूज एंड प्लस वन इज फॉर टी सिंस इट इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ मोर देन वन इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स सो फॉर डिफ्रेंसिएशन वी मस्ट फॉलो द रूल्स ऑफ पार्शियल डिफ्रेंसिएशन सो वॉट विल बी अवर रिजल्ट वेन वी विल डिफ्रेंसिएट इट दिस विल बी डेल एफ बाय डेल क्यू वन you know when we differentiate with respect to q1 the other parameters or variables are treated as constant so this will be del f by del q1 and as i have to evaluate total time derivative so this will be dq1 by dt plus now differentiation will be with respect to q q2 so what will be the second term this will be simply del f by del q2 d q2 by dt plus so on plus del f by del Q F D Q F by D T and plus the last variable is T. So what will be the last step? That will be del F by del T. into dt dt and you know that this dt dt is 1 now see the, the rhs of this equation you see here the first f terms contains the total time derivative of different q so we can write it in dot symbol this is del f by del q1 into d q1 by dt this will be written as q1 dot plus del f by del q2 and d q2 by dt this will be what this will be q2 dot dot symbol is used for differentiation with respect to t and plus so on plus del f by del q f and q f dot see here d q f by dt is q f dot and plus as dt dt is 1 so the last term will be what this will be del f by del t now see the first f terms can be compactly written by the use of some sign of summation we may write here that this is del f by del q j del q j q j dot where the limit of summation is j equal to 1 to f and plus del f by del t one remarkable thing is here we have not used the subscript k here as you can see 
द एल एच एस कॉन्टेंट्स द सबस्क्रिप्ट के एंड इनफैक्ट इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन के इज फिक्सड एंड सो वी मस्ट यूज अदर सबस्क्रिप्ट विच इज वेरिएबल हेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ जे रन्स फ्रॉम वन टू एफ बट इन एल एच एस द सबस्क्रिप्ट देयर इज सबस्क्रिप्ट के एंड के हैज ए पार्टिकुलर वैल्यू दिस इनफैक्ट रिप्रेजेंट्स ओनली द के एथ कंपोनेंट ऑफ जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट और के एथ जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट यू मे से सो वॉट इज द रीजन ऑफ यूजिंग द डिफरेंट इंडेक्स जे आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड दैट फॉर योर कन्वीनियंस आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग दिस रीजन अदरवाइज यू मे फॉरगेट इट सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग here we have to use we have to use a different a running number रनिंग नंबर अदर देन के अदर देन के बिकॉज के इज फिक्स्ड हियर एंड सो what will be our result that is the now the above equation we can write it see here the lhs of this equation is what this is d dt del r by del qk so now we will simplify it so d dt d d t del r by del q k see the r h s in fact in r h s our equation is what this is del f c in fact in above expression the expression is del f by del qj into qj dot plus del f by del t and as we know from equation number 2 what this f is so let us put the value of f in this equation from equation 2 so we will see that this will be in fact summation over j now i am not writing j equal to 1 to f when you will write j it is it is understood that its value runs from 1 to f so there is no need to always writing j equal to 1 to f. that is both limits i do not need to be written so let us put this is in fact del del qj and f we know that this f is in fact del r by del q k as equation 2 says this is del r by del q k here i am making the use of equation number 2 into q j dot so right here qj dot and plus del f by del t again in this term we use the expression for f as defined in equation number 2 so in place of f what we will write we will write del r 
बाय डेल क्यू के हियर जस्ट यूज ऑफ यूज ऑफ इक्वेशन टू हैज बिन मेड यूज ऑफ इक्वेशन टू नाउ सिंप्लीफाई द आर एच एस ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन सी इन द फर्स्ट टर्म वी विल इनफैक्ट सिंप्लीफाई इट द फर्स्ट टर्म विल बी वॉट दिस इज समेशन ओवर जे वेन यू विल ऑपरेट द ऑपरेटर डेल डेल क्यू जे ऑन डेल आर बाय डेल क्यू के वॉट यू विल गेट दिस इज सिंपली डेल टू आर बाय डेल क्यू जे इन टू डेल क्यू के इन टू क्यू जे डॉट क्यू जे डॉट एंड प्लस सिमिलरली इन वेन द ऑपरेटर डेल डेल टी विल बी ऑपरेटेड ऑन डेल आर बाय डेल क्यू के द रिजल्ट विल बी डेल टू आर डेल टी डेल क्यू के सो वी हैव इवेलुएटेड डे डी डी टी डेल आर बाय डेल क्यू के लेट अस से दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर थ्री नाउ इनफैक्ट वी वॉन्ट टू इवेलुएट द आर एच एस ऑफ द equation in a statement and for that first of all we evaluate dr by dt by the use of the transformation equation now i am just repeating equation number 1 which is in fact the transformation equation now c equation 1 what is r r is in fact R of Q1, Q2, so on, Qf t. Or you may write it. This R is equal to. R of Q J T. You may write it. And so, what will be D R by D T? I have evaluated this several times before this lecture. So now I am just sorting the step. You know. this this will be differentiated partially because r is a function of f plus 1 independent variables and the first f terms are sum up and this term is uh, outside of the summation so i am just writing directly this will be what you have studied it several times so this will be del r by del q j into q j dot i have left some steps you may uh, proceed yourself as i have done this problem several times j equal to 1 to f and plus del r By delta, just I have evaluated dr by dt. Hence, now as I have told, we have to evaluate the term in RHS of the statement of the theorem. So operate the operator del del q 
के ऑन दिस डी आर बाय डेट ऑपरेट दिस वॉट विल बी आवर रिजल्ट इनफैक्ट दिस विल बी डेल डेल क्यू के दिस ऑपरेटर एंड डी आर बाय डी टी इज डिफाइंड हियर सो सब्सटीट्यूट फॉर डी आर बाय डी टी दिस विल बी समेशन ओवर जे आई एम नॉट अगेन राइटिंग द लिमिट्स इट ऑल अंडरस्टूड दैट लिमिट्स आर फ्रॉम वन टू एफ सो आई एम जस्ट राइटिंग जे एंड समेशन ओवर जे डेल आर बाय डेल क्यू जे इन टू क्यू जे डॉट प्लस दिस ऑपरेटर विल बी ऑपरेटेड ऑन दिस टू सो दिस इज डेल डेल क्यू के डेल डेल क्यू के डेल आर बाय डेल टी नाउ सी द फर्स्ट टर्म इन आर एच एस एज समेशन इज इंप्लाइड फॉर द इंडेक्स जे एंड के हैज ए फिक्सड वैल्यू सो वी कैन ऑपरेट दिस ऑपरेटर ऑन दिस फंक्शन and summation can be written in the beginning so this is summation over j del del q k del del q k del r by del q j into qj dot and plus and what is this this is simply del 2r by del qk del t del t now see the first step in fact here there is a product of two functions inside this bracket first one is del r del qj and second is qj to so for differentiation we will follow the rules of product of uh, two functions so follow the rule of differentiation of product of two functions and differentiate it here let us first operate this operator on the first function del r by del qj so what will be this this will be del del qk del r by del qj into qj dot remember this qj is out of this operator and now this operator del del qk will be operated on qj dot and this will be out of the operator so what will be the term that term will be del r by del qj into del qj dot by del qk del qk this is the uh, simplification of the first term and see here as r is a perfect differential so 
its second order derivative does not depend on the order of differentiation. In this term, we have first of all differentiated R with respect to T and then with respect to QK. But if we uh, just reverse the order of uh, differentiation, the result will not change. So we may write it del 2R del T del QK. You can write it because R is a perfect differential. Now one thing is very remarkable here. See this uh, partial derivative del QJ dot by del QK. You will uh, see that now this del qj dot by del qk this will be in fact zero but why why it is zero we know that qj dot which represents in fact generalized velocity and qk this is generalized coordinate and generalized velocity is independent of generalized coordinate or in other words you may say that qj dot is not an explicit function of qk and we are doing partial derivative so if qj dot is not a an explicit function of qk then this derivative will be zero so this is zero and you may write its region as q dot r independent of q when you write q it means q1 q2 and so on and when you write q dots it means this these are q1 dot q2 dot and so on since q dot is independent of q or in other words as i have told you that you may say that q dot is not an explicit function of q so this partial derivative will be zero and when it will be zero the second term inside this square bracket will vanish and hence what will be our result you may see hence our result will be what our result will be del del qk dr by dt see the lhs of wave of equation dr by dt this will be what this is summation over j now we can write this term as uh, uh, in the form del 2r by del qk del qj into qj dot qj dot plus this term has become zero so that next term will be del 2r by del t del qk and say it is in fact equation number 5 this is equation number 5 now let us see equation number 3 where we have evaluated d dt del r by del qk see its rhs and also see the rhs of equation 5 what you see you see that the 
आर एच एस ऑफ दीज टू इक्वेश थ्री एंड फाइव आर सेम एंड सो इट्स एल एच एस विल बी ऑल्सो सेम सो फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फाइव वॉट वी गेट फ्रॉम थ्री एंड फाइव वी सिंपली गेट that d dt del r by del q k is equal to this much this equal to del del q k dr by dt and in fact this is our theorem which our the statement of our theorem is this which in fact means that the operator d dt and the operator del del q k may be interchanged changed if these operators are operated on the position vector r you will see when i will teach you the derivation of lagrange equation this very important theorem will be directly used in that derivation and i will uh, i hope that uh, during that derivation you will feel no trouble when i will write this expression directly so the first part of this theorem has been proved and similarly if we in fact to consider the operator d dt operated on delta r that delta operator is also also interchanged by d dt so similarly i am not following the all steps but just by induction or comparison i am writing this result similarly it can be so but again i suggest you you try yourself to prove this result which i am just writing down similarly it can be shown that d dt delta r this will be equal to delta dr by dt this is also a very important uh, fact invariably used in classical mechanics in different theories see here here delta is an operator so when d dt operator is operated on delta that delta means variational operator then that result will be in fact equal to dr dt uh, operated by delta so we can interchange the operator d dt by the operator delta if these operators are operated on position vector r and <clears throat> in this way you see that our theorem has been proved i hope you have understand all the steps because the steps used in this derivation is familiar to you as we have used such a mathematical techniques before this lecture so that's all for today now in next lecture we will in fact state and prove the third important theorem which is in fact theorem of quadratic nature of kinetic energy you will see that the proof of that that theorem will be also uh, very simple and uh, that concept is also used in lagrangian formulation of mechanics